Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Millionaire with me. I am Haley and we're picking up after we left off. I have done a little bit of work. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you what's going on. Let's go out the front door. All right, so in between episodes, I expanded the smeltery just a bit and i go ahead went ahead and put the clock timer on here we have all of the ores that we're going in they're going to go in this hopper um now this is one seven so i have to be careful because uh i think we have metallurgy in this and that makes uh ores kind of mix so i'm only putting in exactly what i need now i can't click on the controller with the hopper in the way so at some point i'm probably going to get a conduit uh we do have ender io in here but you can see it now holds a lot more quite a bit more and i need to go get some more lava again <laughs> i have a spot marked for lava so i don't worry about that um Let's put that on there and then you know i've got all of these ingots here like i said i've been busy i went mining and i do have some extra ores As a matter of fact let's go ahead and put some silver in here and let that start cooking up while we go uh, I did go ahead and finish up the coke oven. Now this is a, they only required 26 pieces. So I think in this version of a mis, no, immersive engineering, it has to be hollow inside. We'll get ourselves a hammer here and uh, get that started to get us some creosote oil. I went ahead also uh, and made uh, a compacting drawer and we are now extracting cobblestone. Now this was a good oldie, I had to go back and remember. Uh, we had to make a world interaction upgrade to automatically um, pull the cobble into the transfer node. I have to remember that because in the latest uh, Extra Utilities 2, it's called I don't even know what it's called. Some mining upgrade is what it's called. So I had to go back and I was like, what in the world did I need to go in here and pull them? But it's a world interaction upgrade. So if you guys are doing this, uh, it's just lapis, which I had tons of because we'll take my pickaxe out here in a second. Uh, and iron and an iron uh, pickaxe. So my uh, pickaxe with this uh, version of Tinkers, it actually automatically upgrades. So now I have luck on it. So I'm getting... Um, even so much more. I believe luck actually gives you more ores or things that you mine with it. I believe it's it, luck or loot. Looting, I think, is when you kill things, it gives you more loot. Obviously, the word loot and luck should give me more. So I've got plenty of stuff for mining because it's automatically. And I actually have several. Uh, Let's see, well, tell me, I have several modifiers. I have seven modifiers available to put on this because of how much mining I've been doing. Same thing with my Matic here is what I've been using to chop down trees. I have six modifiers on this and this currently has smite and haste and a durability of plus 50 because I think it gave me the emerald. Yeah, down at the bottom you can see I have an emerald upgrade on it so it lasts a little bit longer. So we're doing this specifically and we're going to talk about why I'm kind of just collecting cobblestone um, because it's going to come in, come in handy later on. Uh, I did go ahead and uh, made a little tree farm over here so I've got quite a bit of mana. I've got one mana pool full here and I've got two more mana pools I'm kind of filling up here. I've, what I've been doing I've just been chopping down uh, our trees here so I've got vein miner uh, so I take all of the wood. I craft it down into planks because planks I believe give me more man I believe drag taught me that uh, in one of our uh, or one of our mini patreon packs drag dragon is one of my patreons he is an expert at modded minecraft I mean, he can go through packs so quickly so he uh, told me that uh, planks of course they give you the same amount of mana as as um, as the actual wood does so basically you get four times more so it's just been tossing that in here this mana spreader is going to one uh and this one's going to the other because i'm just trying to collect as much mana as i need because we're going to need quite a bit of terror steel um in order to kind of progress through uh finish up the magic mod so i've got one mana pool full here and uh we'll talk about more now uh talking about the uh cobblestone let's go into the quest book because i want to focus on this episode talking about our main goal which is making money 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 yeah okay sorry <laughs> uh please don't copyright me <laughs> anyway so if we look at the quest book uh, i got a couple of quests complete here we'll talk about that but yeah we've got our shops here because that's going to be the best way to make money remember our goal is to try to get a million dollars so i can go through the quest all day long but there are some things that we can try to get automated here uh so we'll, we'll make money on the side because actually by making money uh, it'll make it a lot easier for us to buy certain things so we can buy liquid xp we can buy rocket fuel we can buy biodiesel um 
It cost $64,000 was a rocket fuel. Whew, okay. But you get 256 buckets of uh, biodiesel for it. So good Lord, that's a lot of money. Uh, but we're going to try to make money. So uh, the cobblestone one I was looking at because I was trying to figure out how do you get bedrock, you know, outside of having something that can break bedrock. And I don't think there's anything in this pack that will actually make bedrock that quickly. But you do get quite a bit of money. You get $5,000 for every bedrock bedrock um so uh, let's look at the recipe for bedrock and to make bedrock you just need um bedrock dust which you get from a bedrock alloy ingot which you can get from a bedrock ingot thing so there's a lot of bedrock here but there's something that i think that will actually help and there's something called a bedrockium um is that what it is block of bedrockium uh yeah so a block of bedrockium is actually crafted by smelting an octuple compressed cobblestone you'll get a block of bedrockium and that block of bedrockium can actually be broken down to get you those bedrockium ingots which can be used i believe that's what's going to use to make molten bedrockium I don't know, somehow I think that's what's going to be used to make the bedrock. Um, we got a long way to go to get October compressed cobblestone. And you guys leave comments down if you're um, if there's another way to actually get bedrock. But that's the first way I can think of because this is kind of a circle. To get bedrock dust, I need a bedrock alloy ingot. To get a bedrock alloy ingot, I need a bedrock alloy ingot block or I need bedrock dust in the blast furnace with a HSLA steel. And that just kind of goes in a circle unless there's another way to actually get bedrock. Um, let, me, let me check again. Yeah, there's no other recipes there. And the bedrock dust, yeah, it's just a bedrock alloy ingot. And there's no other recipes there. So it kind of just goes around in a circle to say bedrock and that. Uh, bedrock alloy and get there. Yeah, so there's no other way to get this outside of a circle. So it's got to be something to do with a block of bedrockium that I just quite can't figure my way through. So I think this is a bedrockium ingot. Can I crush that down to get uh, the, the dust? I don't know. We'll figure it out. You guys will tell me uh, in between in the comment section of what I'm actually missing there. So I'm just going to go ahead and gather that up. Now, other things we're going to go ahead and try to work on. So there's uh, other things that we can do here. Now, there is a quest delivery system, QDS, that we're going to go ahead and make this. So we can submit items. There's a tr quest tracking system and a quest gate system. I don't know what exactly those do. But I know the quest delivery system just takes our quest book, which we can actually make another one, just take the book and some string. And that way I can actually automatically submit items into it and it should give me some money. So let's try to make this. Let's go ahead and make a book. Actually, let's sleep because I need to go get some sugar cane so we can make our book. Uh, and a string I should possibly already have. I've been killing a bunch of spiders. If not, I know where a spawner is from out there. So let's go get some sugar cane. Uh, we have that growing over here come on Haley go faster I'm clicking clicking control like I should go faster than that okay let's go ahead and grab this sugar cane here let's grab all of it so we can actually get some planted closer to the house um and we'll go ahead and get a book made I think I can make a book I don't should not need leather I possibly only if not I got plenty of cows that's for sure I hate to kill the poor little cows but if I have to I will in the name of science uh do that but I probably can use um because I don't want to use this quest book I want to keep that quest book I believe this if I make a book yeah, I just need uh, blank patterns and a piece of string here. So I got a couple extra blank patterns here. We'll use that. And yeah, I got 52 string. Plenty of string. So I'm not worried about that. So we'll go ahead and take three pieces of that, two pieces of that, and a string. It'll give us a book. Take the book with the string. It'll give us another quest book. And if I surround that with glass, I actually don't have... I need to just like smell glass. Yeah, I know I need to make the hammer. I haven't forgot. I gotta make the creosote old. Well, I did kind of forget. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's make us a hammer while that smelts up. I know, let's focus. Uh, engineering's hammer is what we need. Uh, can't spell engineer. Engineering hammer. 
I kind of know the recipe, but I want to make sure because again, we're playing in a one seven pack. So it kind of takes us back away. Okay, come on. I know I can, you guys see this, right? Oh, there it is right there. Engineer's hammer. Uh, yeah, it's just two string, two iron ingots and uh, two sticks, two iron ingots and a string. Let's grab us some iron ingots here. Look, we already got all that silver melted. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, two of those and some sticks and some string, which I actually have string in my, uh, yeah, ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a oh, string goes up there, uh, two sticks and that, and it gives us a hammer that we can go smack that on. And I think I should just need, uh, I think I can turn, use this to make the wood I need for the, um, come on, uh, that, let's see, uh, four pieces of glass. I know I'm trying to do so many things at once. <laughs> to... Okay, so I know the book goes in the middle. The glass, I believe, goes on the outside. Uh, and then this in the middle. If not, I think I have the glass. Yeah, I have the glass and the planks in the wrong spot. There we go. Quest delivery system. So we'll go ahead and set that down here. All right. I'm not currently bound a quest to it. Okay, so let me just go ahead and just pop this over here. And we're going to look at some of the quest. Oh, wait, maybe not. Does I thought it had to be hollow because it only maybe make 26 of them. Maybe it doesn't need to be hollow. That's silly. Then it shouldn't have you made 28. Okay, we'll make one more. Uh, we have the... We have the clay and the bricks and we have an extra piece of sandstone here. So we'll make one more Coke brick. Uh, actually, we'll make two more because uh, you can't make one more. And we'll get our creosote oil so we can kind of get through the rest of the more of that tech stuff. All right, does this work? Yeah, okay, so I don't know why I didn't even do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some coal in there and get some creosote cooking up. Uh, let's just put this here for right now. And, uh, where's my coal? Where's my coal? Where's my coal? It's, oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go and get a stack in there. Because like I said, there's so much coal. And with having luck on my pickaxe, I'm getting more coal than I actually need. So we'll put that in there. That'll turn that into a coal coke. And we'll get an output. Uh, oh, that holds 12,000. Has it always held 12,000 millibuckets? I don't know. All right, now, what are we doing? Oh, the quest delivery system. Okay, so I believe what it does, oh, it, it, I kept the quest, okay, I thought it would take the quest book. All right, well, I got two quest books now. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Let's put the string up, and yeah. All right, so uh, let's look at, pick one of these quests. We're gonna go ahead and sell, let's sell some coal. If I sell some coal, it'll give me um, a 16 coal. It'll give me a stack of that. Now, if I sel click select task here, and if I right click on that, yeah, okay, so now I have bound this to sell coal in the QDS system. So if I'm gonna make a hopper, and every time I get coal, this is just an example. Actually, I'm just gonna borrow this hopper for right now. Um, just as this example here, if I pop that on there, and if I put a stack of coal in here, it should start fulfilling this quest. Yeah, see, it's starting to fulfill it. And now it doesn't automatically, sim oh, it does. Wait, how many rewards can I get? Uh, will it stop at some point? Claim reward. Oh, I need to be careful because it only gave me the 16, even though it took, it took all of that. Okay, so see, I can claim reward again. So you have to be careful. So I only put the 16 in because I lost 16 at that point for it. Okay, so I can put the rest of that in there. And I can claim the reward again. So I had a stack, but it kept going and um, filling up. And so I can't believe I actually lost uh, stuff on it. So good good to know. Um, it's not perfect, but we got we got some money. We got a little pretty money. And I can actually craft this into uh, other money. So I believe, I've clicked on uses there, I can turn the 10s into 50s and 25s. I can, me, oh, I can smelt it. Why would you want to smelt your money down? That seems a... Uh, uh, not useful. <laughs> I can break it down into two fives or I can turn it into fifties. I can turn the fifties into hundreds and two hundreds or I can buy oat seeds with it. 
how does that even work? <laughs> I take a rice seed and a corn seed plus $100 and I'll get oat seeds. Now, I haven't really found a usefulness on just the food outside of, let's see, if I go back into the, uh, the magic shop. The magic shop, yeah, there's some, I can make honey, uh, grilled cheese, delighted meals, and cakes. Uh, I can even sell mana steel for, um, how much mana steel? Oh, eight mana steel ingots will give me $3,200, or no, $320, $3,200, $320. Not bad, that's pretty easy to do as well. So just gotta remember, when I'm putting stuff in there, I can just kind of set it and forget it to go in, but, um, yeah, you'll lose it if you put too much in there at once. All right. Um, so there's a little bit of food in those quests, but uh, not very much to warrant. Now, Gaia Spirit, looks like it gives you 1,500 credits, so that's a lot of good stuff. All right. Now, let's go ahead and look at the quests that I did complete. Let's uh, look more on the tech tier. We did complete this part of the quest. Uh, I can claim the reward on it. It actually gave me an extra cook. Okay, that's... I should have read the quest before it gave me that extra one to actually do the, uh, to complete the Coke oven. Okay, that makes sense. So instead of making 28, you make 26. It gives you the 27th one. It should have gave me a hammer as well. That's, um, that would have been nice. Okay, and also gave me the engineer's manual. So that's good. Um, now, uh, we completed the bat box last time. And so uh, that's actually going to give us a battery charge. We'll claim that. So that's already got power in it. And now it talks about storing more power. So I can go two different ways. And I think this, I don't know if this stops at LV, um, but we can go two different ways. I'm kind of going to go ahead and go down this route because what I want to be able to do, um, tier two actually has some of the areas I want to get into. This is the Mine Factory Reloaded. Um, it's items that I kind of want to get into here, but I can't get into here until these quests actually open up. Uh, so I have to finish a tier one to even get into that. Uh, tier three has a lot of cool stuff. Now there's a bedrock in Inga. I think it's bedrock in Inga. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a bedrock breaker. Oh, that's how you get bedrock. Okay. Well, that makes sense. How was the recipe for that? Uh, that's some base panels from, okay, we're made in a work table, some singer, okay, so that's some hard stuff to make. <laughs> All right, so uh, now I know how to make bedrock. I'll just read through the quest and that, that answers that question. All right, um, so we just get a couple of minutes, so let's go ahead and um, let's, let's just keep working through quests. We got to get to tier three, apparently, to be able to get into bedrock. Now, the magic shop, like I said, I, I, we're at a, not the magic shop, the magic tier. I'm going to continue to work towards uh, the next part is to make, you know, I can make a runic altar. Um, or I need a mana diamond. Okay, so which means I need a diamond. Oh, actually, I had marked a place for diamonds. I haven't picked it up yet uh let's go ahead and grab these diamonds they're right here right next to the subsidian there's diamonds everywhere so we'll go ahead and get that where where'd it go where i got the achievement forward where'd Where'd my, okay. okay, I was really worried for a second. Like, where'd my diamonds go? All right, let's go back home. Um, let's see. Uh, home. Let's toss one of these in our little mana pool back here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get us some of the runic also. Because I'm going to need to make a bunch of runes, obviously. So let's toss this in here. Oh, let's toss that in there. And we get, a, get us one of those. And I should have enough. Oh, I need some more living rock. Ah, oh, I was not prepared. Oh, I was kind of prepared. I was making stone for that, obviously. All right, we'll go ahead and let this cook. Let's take about a minute to cook up. And then we'll go ahead and, and work through the, some of the rest of the tech stuff. Let's check our creosote. Um, the creosote oil is what's going to be needed for... Let's see. The creosote oil is actually going to be needed for... Uh, tech tier. Oh yeah, the LV capacitor. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep reading. Galoo. What the heck does Galoo mean? <laughs> oh, electric boogaloo. What? I'm, I'm what? I'm I'm busy reading. Go away. Shoot, 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 shoot. You and your friend. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. Let me get some more 
Mob drops. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going inside. <laughs> We're safe. Yeah, I got you guys' heads up there. I should warn you to go away. All right. Anyways, I was saying. Anyway, uh, storing power to electric book a galoo. Okay. Now I know what galoo stands for. Now you have access to treated wood. You can make them simple capacitors. Make one now. Okay. Instructions from abroad. All right. So I need redstone, two pieces of treated wood, copper, lead, iron, and that's it. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat this tater. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. We'll make the LB capacitor and the runic altar, and then we'll say our goodbyes, and I'll keep mining in between episodes and uh, either get more coal, I can change those quests to other items. So I'm gonna need iron, lead, and the copper? I don't have very much copper. Yeah. Two different kinds of copper. I have thermal foundation copper and tinger's copper, okay. And I'm gonna need a, a bucket of this. I should have enough in there. Yeah, plenty of that in there. We also got our coal coke going. And so we're going to make an LV capacitor, uh, which I believe I need. Uh, let's go ahead and make some of that. And so we should have a bucket of this to give us our treated wood. And now we can make our LV capacitor. And if I hold shift, oh, what am I missing? Uh, copper is it just not gonna do it okay we'll do it this way I have I don't have any redstone what do I do with all my redstone oh wait is it up here ah put all my redstone over there haha -ha. all right now I should be able to there we go one LV capacitor uh, do you not gonna do 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 detection tap oh what's going on is that <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess that's it. No, no fanfare. No, nothing. Okay. Then I need an LV coal. We'll make, make that in between episodes. Let's go ahead and make the altar. I, I miss the, the music and the songs now. It's just, just to have me doing stuff. Okay. Let's, uh, let's close this out. My inventory is so full. I do not like this. Um, uh, I think that and uh, that, and I get that. Do, 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 Go back. Is that it? Uh, okay. Well, I guess there's no fanfare anymore. Not even any music. So sad. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to end the episode right there. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the episode and are enjoying this series. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out. Now, if you want to hang out with me and any of the other squad members, you can do so by becoming one of our patrons well one of my patrons <laughs> particularly click on the link in the description field It'll take you to the patron website and you can learn about all the awesome cool rewards we have for you to choose from such as hanging out with us in our discord hanging out with the other patrons in our discord and hanging out with us on our servers that we live stream from so that is all the fun stuff you know you, you guys are just awesome to hang out with now if you want a server of your own make sure you head on over to host havoc It's who we use for our multiplayer series and the patreon server that i spoke about so until next time guys i think that's all i have to say so i will talk to you later bye guys